Hey guys, uh, this calculus lesson will go kind of fast. This is just the interme intermediate value theorem. It's, uh, it's uh, section 1.4, part 2. Just the other one would have been too long to include it. So intermediate value theorem just says if, if your function is continuous on an interval a, b, and k is any number that's between f of a and f of b, okay, then there exists at least one number c in the interval a, b such that f of c equals k. All right, so what this means, you guys, say you have this, uh, this function, and it's just going up here, and it's continuous. So there's no jumps or holes on that right there. Okay, and if you know that, um, uh, that between these two numbers right here, as, as long as um, uh, you know, your f of a is a, is a y answer, and your f of b is a y answer, and as long as your f of c is somewhere in between them, you guys, then we can find uh, that c value in between them, okay? Here, I got two examples. It'll help explain this a little bit better. So verify that the intermediate value theorem works. So it means it has to be continuous, and your f of c is in between f of a and f of b. Okay, so and so and then we're going to find c. Okay, so here's f of c equals zero. All right, first of all, we got to plug in f of uh, a and f of b. So I'm going to plug in f of zero and f of three and find those values right there. So uh, first of all, I know it's continuous because this is just a parabola, and parabolas are continuous everywhere, you guys. There's no jumps or holes in this. So f is continuous on 0, 3. It's continuous everywhere, actually. So that part checks out. Okay, and then so f of 0 equals 8, f of 3 equals negative 1, and since uh, f of c, which is 0, is in between f of a and f of b, then the intermediate, intermediate value theorem applies. So now we can find our c by letting this equation equal to whatever f of c is. It equals 0 right here. Okay, so now I'm going to let x squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0 and solve, and you get x equals 4 or 2. Now remember, we want the only the interval from 0 to 3, so 4 is not on that interval. Only 2 is, so c is going to be 2. Okay, so my c would be the x value that makes uh, f of uh, that equal to what they're asking me to. All right, let's try one more just to verify, you guys. Okay, so here, um, okay, when I graph that, I, I can't even think of that, so I plug this in my calculator, and I get this, you guys. Okay, so there's my graph right there, and on this interval from, this is 2.5 and, and 4, well, 2.5 and a half's right there all the way to 4. It's definitely continuous. It's up here on this half right there. So that part checks out. So now I've got to find out what's f of 5 halves and f of 4, and make sure that 6 is between those two. And if it does, then my intermediate value theorem holds. And it does, because I get 5 and 5, 6, and 6 and 2 thirds, and 6 is in between uh, 5 and 5, 6, and 6 and 2 thirds, so the intermediate value theorem holds. So that means I can find my c value by setting my function equal to f of c, which equals 6. So I'm going to make x squared plus x uh, uh, minus 1 equal to 6 over 1. And then I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply and it gets me this equation right here, and then I set it equal to 0 to get that, and then I set those guys equal to uh, 0, and I get uh, x equals 2 or 3. Okay, the only one that's on the interval is that 3 right there, so c is going to be equal to that 3 right there. All right, nice short assignment uh, with this uh, short lesson, and it would be that if you were in my class.